Hello, hello everyone. So today I wanted to show you how to, how I do a really quick spread. If you've only got maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you just want to get your spread done for the week. So um, I'm actually using some red florals that are very Christmassy and some of these came from the um, Seasons of Color and then there were some almost identical florals from the Calva Plan Roy G. Biv. It was, I think it was volume one. It may have been volume two. They're very similar, um, but the florals are almost identical. So I wanted to I wanted more florals <laughs> because seasons of color, you get some really pretty flowers in there and wreaths and stuff, but, um, there's not a huge variety of styles. And then on some of the styles, um, you only get like a couple of stickers. So I cheated this system and I've been doing this a lot with the seasons of color because some of the boxes go really well. And, um, <clears throat> actually live, love posh has some flowers, um, that are very similar to the seasons of color book. So using these red ones. Some of these are from, like I said, the um, Calava Plant Roy G. Biv book. They are very similar, if not identical. Um, I think the color saturation is a little less on the uh, Calava Plant ones, but you cannot even tell the difference, honestly. So they have the, like the same, like little, um, the same main big flowers and then some of the similar like little um, pine needles and stuff like that so so yeah I'm using those and um, I'm using some boxes some colorful boxes uh, actually it may just be one or two colorful boxes um, and then I'm also using like some of the large quote stickers um, then I just chose one of my red lyrics girls and I'm going to throw the spread together in less than 10 minutes. And this is not sped up. Um, this is just real time. And um, I'm taking like some varying sizes of the florals and just sort of dispersing them throughout the page. A good rule of thumb for me is um, to have some sort of flowers like in the middle of the page sort of um or, or around the edges um but yeah if you do the corners at least two of the corners and then put some in the middle around some boxes um you have a pretty cohesive spread so what i've done is put some up the side and then in the corner over here and then i have a box that has florals actually in the box and then i put a bigger bouquet down in the corner so now i've I got my girl and um, I try to usually match something from their outfit, uh, either match this, the color to the spread or sort of get a complementary color. Say, for instance, if it was like a green and yellow spread, you could use like a green and brown, like a girl with a green and brown outfit or either a brown outfit or, you know, com complementary colors. Um, so... Yeah, I usually do it matchy-matchy, but sometimes a complementary color would look really nice and it makes a pop. Um, so like whatever secondary color you're using, if you only have a few pops of that, then pick a girl that has like an outfit of that color. Um, but it's easy to dress up a spread using a girl. I think that's why I really like them so much. Um, it just brings personality to the page, whatever uh, the facial expression is or the outfit or what, what she's doing. It really brings a lot of personality to the page. Um, especially just on plain, like florals, I say plain, they're not plain, but you know what I mean? On floral spreads that it's just florals and boxes. I think the girls and the quote stickers really like dress them up. So, um, I put her kind of like with the quote as the background, um, in the corner, um, behind her so I think that looks really nice and then I've got this like giant sticker and then it has such pretty like pine needles and just little wintry looking branches and I'm going to kind of layer that over the November December um, and just cut off the edge so it kind of looks like it's going off the page and um, also it just looks to me it looks very integrated when it's kind of like layered over either um you know, part of what's already on the page. It just looks more integrated, I guess. If you don't like layering it over the words, by all means, just scooch it down. And I'm sorry for the, I don't know if you can hear the little bit of crunching sound. I'm actually outside and my kitty, our little neighborhood kitty cat, who has really become our cat, he's crunching around out here. 
so I have a little bit of a cold right now. Um, I don't know what's up. Last year I didn't get sick at all, probably because I was so, so careful, um, you know, with hand sanitizer, masks and everything like that. And then once we, once things started to settle down a little, um, we, I guess we're not as careful. I try to be as careful. I try to use hand sanitizer all the time. We mask when we go in places, um, sometimes, not all the time, um, because, you know, we live in like a more rural area where it's not like COVID is not nearly as rampant. So, but yeah, we're getting other sicknesses like colds and stuff like that more, more frequently. We didn't, I don't think I got sick at all last year, surprisingly. So, um, as you can see, the spread is pretty much complete. Um, I don't really have to add anything else, but I just want to add a, something more, um, just because it's a little, you could, it has like a lot of white space going on, um, even though it is colorful and this is kind of the way I like to decorate with more white space. Sometimes I over decorate, but not usually. I usually leave more white space, um, for writing because I tend to like, make a lot of lists and stuff like that and need a lot of room um, for writing and I've been trying to work on consolidating because sometimes I find myself especially if I use like a dashboard layout like I did in the past double writing things like I'll write it on the day and then I'll write it over here on a list and then I'll write it on the calendar somewhere else and I don't know it's and then I then I end up still forgetting what's what's going on so I'm trying to be more intentional about like just writing it once and then that way when I look at the day I see exactly what's going on without having so much clutter going on on my planner page so just adding some bullet points and I'm gonna do these kind of like up and down so on I'll start um I'll start it on Thursday and I put a few there or I'm working on Thursday now and then um, I'm going to add some just kind of like sort of up and down uh, throughout the days, throughout the boxes, if that makes any sense. And then my spread will pretty much be complete. So it's, as you can see, it's a really quick spread. So all you need to do, you know, a spread like this is like florals, boxes, and maybe a quote or a girl sticker or... You could use washi. Washi is really good. Um, if you had some like black and white spotted washi or some sort of complimentary washi. Um, the uh, paper minty just had this really pretty washi that I, I didn't end up getting that washi to begin with. I don't know why. I just didn't think I would really use it. But then I realized I have no red washi tape. And so I really wanted it. It was like a red and it had like tiny little Christmas tree like outlines on it. Um, and maybe like leaves or something, but it would have been perfect for Christmas, like as a complimentary, like secondary washi, uh, for spreads, but it sold out. So sad. And actually I haven't even checked on Etsy. I was just checking on her website, but that would have been really cute for this spread or just like a black and white spotted washi or a grid washi. There's so many out there, so many different cons, but, um, yeah, just a few different elements and different, um, shapes and sizes, and you can really pull a spread together quickly. Um, I think the fastest way I would say to make a, a quick spread is boxes and florals and, you know, a couple of quotes like that is a ver uh, verified, verifiable, um, easy and fast way to make a, a quick spread when you need one. So I'm just adding my bullet points. It's, it took me a little bit to do the bullet points because I was trying to figure out as I was scattering them, like how it would look best. So I did cut them in half because I, f I feel like they're just too big on their own and they kind of stick out. But when you cut them in half, I forgot who I saw do this. So I saw someone do this and picked this up from a plan with me. Um, I'm trying to remember who it was, but anyways, um, give credit where credit is due. I can't remember. I've seen several people do it though. Um, but yeah, I just cut them down the center and then just added them along the side. So it looks like, you know, integrated into the page, which I think is really nice. And then I just kind of went like scattered them throughout the boxes and each day gets some bullet points, except for like maybe a couple of the days don't get the bullet points, which are days that I don't have like a lot going on anyways. Um, yeah. And then just, I was just kind of thinking about the placement over here. Just wanted to make sure I had enough room to write words where I put them. 
and then I'm second guessing it. But you can see it would have been an even quicker spread if I hadn't second guessed my placement on these bullet points. It would have taken away, it would have, or without the bullet points altogether, it would have been like a lot quicker. So this is my spread, guys, and I hope you enjoyed watching and got a little inspiration. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Take care. Bye.